so this is the part 3 of formula revision and concept revision of power electronics so we are going to see about inverters in this video we'll be seeing all basic type of inverters there's so circuit diagrams and important equations okay first type of inverter is series inverter and parallel inverter now here inverters are basically devices which is used for converting a dc to ac voltage so we generally use inverters at our home also so the purpose is to generate alternating current okay that is to convert ac to dc we use inverters okay now the basic type of inverters that we are going to first see is series and parallel inverter now what is a series inverter and what is a parallel inverter here a series inverter you can see that there are two commutating elements which are l and c and these elements is coming in series with the load resistance so due to the series connection of inductance and capacitance we call this as a series inverter now in reverse of this if you see the parallel inverter the elements l and c are again present here but the capacitor is coming in parallel with the load resistance via a transformer okay you can see that clearly there is a transformer here which is connected with the resistance and the capacitance will come in parallel with the resistance via this transformer okay i hope it is clear both the circuits are using two thyristors or t1 and t2 here also there is t1 and t2 here also there is t1 and t2 now here as we have discussed for the case of series inverter l and c are connected in series with the load and also here the condition is r square is less than 4 l by this is not c uh, this is not 2 it is c okay so r square less than 4 l by c is the condition for choosing the load resistance and also this is all, uh, the series inverter is also called self commutated or load commutated type of inverter okay so we'll be discussing all these things in detail in the upcoming videos that is we'll be doing separate videos for series and parallel inverter in detail we'll be seeing the explanation of circuit diagram and everything but this is for quick revision okay so now talking about the output frequency f of the waveform we are going to generate a uh, an ac waveform so it will be having a frequency and the f is given by 1 by 2 into t by 2 t of where t by 2 is the period of oscillation and t of is the time gap between when one thyristor is turning off and next thyristor is turning on that time gap between this turn on time okay that is when one thyristor is turn off and the other time thyristor is turning on in between there is a time right there is a gap time that is called t of okay and also the period of oscillation t by 2 is given by pi by square root of 1 by lc minus r square by 4 l square okay so these are the two important equations for a series inverter talking about a parallel inverter here you can see that clearly the capacitor is coming in parallel with the resistance that is a load resistance and vc voltage across capacitor is given by 2 vs where vs is a source voltage into 2 exponential minus n square t by 2 rc minus 1 here generally we take it as vc is equal to 2 vs only okay we will take we will ignore this term if you see the circuit diagrams you can see that here it is written v vc is equal to 2 vs and what is n n is the turns ratio that is the number of turns of the transformer its ratio we will call a small letter n n2 by n1 and the capacitance value is given by c is equal to n square tc by 4 r ln 2 here you can see that there is a tc right and tc is the here tc is the circuit turn off time okay so these are the important equations for series and parallel inverter next we are going to see about the bridge inverters various type of bridge inverters okay the next type of inverter is bridge inverter now the bridge inverter has an advantage that here uh, they are again used for conversion of dc to ac but they don't require a transformer we have seen that for the case of parallel uh, inverters we require a transformer but for the case of bridge inverter we don't require transformer okay so that is one advantage of bridge bridge inverter and here the two basic type of bridge inverters are one phase half bridge inverter and one phase full bridge inverter okay that is single phase half bridge inverter and single phase full bridge inverter are the two classifications of there is two main classifications of bridge inverters okay now let us see the 
the image that is first let us see the image of a single face half bridge inverter so now you can see the image of a single face half bridge inverter on screen so this is the structure you can see that clearly there is no requirement of a transformer and the output voltage equation is given like this v out is equal to sigma n equal to 1 3 5 up to infinity to vs that is a source voltage by n pi sin n omega t okay now what is n n is the order of harmonic then omega is the angular frequency it is given by 2 pi f and the unit is radians per second okay so i have written this is common for both that is for single phase half wave and uh, sorry half bridge and single wave full full bridge okay so that is the equation for output voltage for a single phase one phase or you can write it as single phase okay single phase or single phase okay so this is single phase half bridge inverter and second one is a single phase full bridge inverter the equation for output voltage for a single phase full bridge inverter is given like this v out equal to sigma n equal to 1 3 5 up to infinity for vs by n pi sin n omega t here again vs is a source voltage and n is the order of the harmonic omega is the angular frequency in radians per seconds now talking about the load impedance phase angle load current and the power so the equation for load impedance is given by Zn is equal to r square n omega l minus 1 by n omega c whole square the whole raised to minus 1 by 2. So here inside there is a square and totally outside there is a minus 1 by 2. Okay. So that is the equation for the load impedance. Okay. Actually you have to take the r square also inside the bracket. Okay. So this whole bracket the whole raised to minus 1 by 2. So that is the equation. Okay. I will read out once again. Zn is equal to r square plus n omega l minus 1 by n omega c. There is a square for this term, for this bracket and the whole raised to minus 1 by 2. That is the equation for load impedance. Okay. So if you know the value of l, c and r, you can find the value and also omega, you can find the value of load impedance. Then phase angle is given by phi n equal to tan inverse n omega l minus 1 by n omega c by r. The bracket is for only numerator. Okay. Then the load current I0 is given by V out, output voltage by load impedance. And fundamental power, that is for the fundamental harmonic, the power is given by P01 equal to I01 r, that is equal to V01 I01 cos phi 1. So this is for the fundamental harmonic. Okay. So that is the fundamental load power okay okay also you can now see the image of single phase full bridge inverter on screen okay you have not seen the image of single phase full bridge inverter so this is the image for a single phase full bridge inverter so we have actually seen the diagram and the equations for single phase half bridge and single phase full bridge inverters so these are the two main classifications of bridge inverters the bridge inverter has an advantage that it doesn't require transformer for conversion of ac uh, dc to ac okay so these are the next classification of inverters the last type of inverter is three phase bridge inverter so this uh, three phase bridge inverter it is having three arms and that are normally delayed by an angle of 120 degree to generate a three phase ac supply so this will actually generate a three phase ac supply the other type of inverters that we have discussed will be generating single phase supply here it will be generating three phase supply and for generation of three phase supply it is having a three balanced loads and it is separated by 120 degree each okay and this will act as the three phase power lines okay so this, these are the three three phase power lines and it is generated by these three loads and they are delayed by 120 degree. And this is a circuit diagram of a three phase bridge inverter. You can see that there is six thyristors along with six diodes connected as pairs and each of these will act as switches. And there are two con conduction modes or 
uh, working modes of three phase inverters 120 degree and 180 degree conduction modes are there we'll be doing separate video on three phase inverters in detail but anyway you should be you should be knowing that there is two conduction modes 120 degree conduction mode and 180 degree conduction mode is there okay and these switches will that is this will act as one switch this will act as another switch and each pair will act as a separate separate switches and these switches will operate and produce as produces the three phase supply okay and also you should be knowing that uh, that these switches that is this switch is complement to this switch and just like that for each branch the two switches connected to it are complement to each other okay so all these things you should be knowing okay so anyway we'll be doing a separate video on this three phase bridge inverter okay so this is a circuit diagram and it is generating a three phase ac supply okay so in this video we have actually discussed about all basic type of inverters series parallel inverter their equations then bridge inverters then also finally we have seen the circuit diagram of three phase bridge inverter also so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching